Hello everyone, this is Harald Lambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst here at Iron FX Global, bringing you the technical updates for the 10th of March. Today I will describe the technical outlook of uh, Euro Dollar. Since today the ECB holds its uh, monetary policy meeting, I would also like to talk about Sterling Yen, which rebounded from near a short term uptrend line. So let's start with the most uh, commonly traded pair worldwide Euro Dollar. Euro Dollar traded higher on Wednesday. But hit resistance at 110.30 and then it slid. A pair now looks to be trading in a sideways uh, mode between the support zone of 109.45 and uh, the resistance of 110.30. Something that keeps the short term outlook uh, neutral, in my view. Nevertheless, today we have the long awaited ECB policy meeting where the bank uh, is expected to take action and is policy again. If the bank acts uh, more aggressively than the market is currently anticipating, we could see euro dollar breaking the lower bound of, uh, of the range, something that could open the way for another test uh, near the 109 zone. On the contrary, if uh, officials are under deliver again, as they did in December, the pair could uh, emerge above 110.30 and initially aim for the 11070 uh, barrier. Switching to the daily chart, I see that Euro dollar is still trading between the 108 key zone and the psychological area of 115. Therefore, I would keep the view that the broader trend remains sideways. Now let's carry on with uh, sterling yen. This pair traded higher yesterday after it hit support near the crossroad of the 159.70 support line and the uptrend line taken from the low of uh, the 24th of uh, February. As long as the pair is trading above that line the short term outlook remains uh, positive and as a result I would expect the bulls to challenge the 162.25 line anytime soon. A clear break above that zone would confirm a forthcoming higher high and is possible to set the stage uh, for extensions towards the next resistance zone of 164. Our short term oscillators support the notion as well. The RSI emerged above its uh, 50 line while the MACD has bottomed near its uh, zero line and has just poked its nose above its trigger line. Zooming out to the daily chart, I still see a longer term downtrend. Therefore, I would treat the short term uptrend or any possible extensions of it as a corrective move of that uh, down path, at least for now. So that's it for today. For more analysis and charts, please read the full comment on ironfx.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Haralambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX Global, wishing you solid trading.